Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to do a video on brows and lashes. I thought it would be a really good video to show you guys um, some of the different ways that I do my brows and some of the different lashes that I use because I don't always use the same lash and I don't always do the same brow routine. I have a couple, three of them that I do. So I've got one for when I'm a little bit more natural. I've got one for when I'm kind of that in-between stage of wanting to look nice but not overly glammed up. And then you have your glam brow. I figure why not just put them all in one video and kind of give you guys a look see at how I do all of them. So um, now for me, you know, one brow style does not fit all. I mean, I kind of like to experiment a little bit. I guess that's more of my creative side. So um, I think that's what we're going to do today. So why don't we get started? I am already foundationed up and all of that jazz. The only thing is, is my eyes are not done. So we're gonna get started on these brows. So I'm just going to brush my brows into place. Um, my brows are somewhat groomed. I attempted to do them myself. So they are, um, uh, have a tiny bit of a shape to them. So that will help with us doing this today. Okay, the three pencils that I use, and I use a pencil. I do have a pomade um, that I use ever so often, but my go-to's, I keep my Anastasia in my kit, and this is the Brow Wiz, and this is the color uh, Granite. I also have the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in the color Espresso, and um, I do keep this one in my kit as well. And then um, what I keep in my stash is um, Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. And this one is in the color, this one is Dark Brunette. I'll let you see that one. It's, it's, it's relatively dark, like a dark, dark brown. So we are gonna start with this because this is mine. I'm going to, my first look is going to be a pretty, I, I guess natural, more of a natural brow. Um, just to kind of accent or you know just to kind of fill in a little bit I'm sorry um, some of the brow hairs maybe create a little bit of a tail but I just go at the very bottom of my brow and I just take little tiny strokes And like I said, it's just mainly to fill in where I'm a little sparse and just to kind of give it a little bit of um, definition. Then I'll take the spoolie on the back of there and I'll just kind of brush the product through the brow. And just kind of clean them up. And there is my nice brow. So I don't really have to do anything to them um, because I want them to look as natural as possible. But you know, I'm just constantly just kind of going in making sure that the product is evenly distributed, you know, where I placed it and mainly down at the bottom. In this situation, when I have a relatively <laughs> clean brow, I don't use any concealer because to me there's really no need for a concealer you know unless in a situation where you kind of mess up a little bit and you need to get in there and you need to um, to straighten that up um, after I do that I take whatever 
clear mascara or brow gel that I have. And for me right now, it's this Kiss. And then I just kind of go in and just run that through just to kind of keep those in place. And there we are. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to a lash. So this right here is um, a lash that I would wear on an everyday basis. So I'm gonna put those on um, so you guys can see. And I, yes I do, I trim my lashes um, to fit my eye. Because again, not every lash, you know, it's not one size fits all. Sometimes you gotta custom fit them to um, to you. And no, I don't have on any wow. mascara. I just kind of stick them on, and then I just do my yeah. mascara oh. afterwards. And I get them as close to my lash line as possible. And then I just go in and I just press them together. So see, it's not that bad. It's, you know, some people will look at those and be like, oh my gosh, they're so long. And they really aren't. Um, to me, they just blend so well with um, your lash. And by the way, these are um, Salon Perf. I'm sorry, that was Joshua. He was being a little loud. He's listening to his music, so. And he had headphones on, so. I had to redirect. <laughs> okay, so. Um, these are Salon Perfect. This is style number, I believe these are 614s. Uh, um, these you can find at Walmart. I buy them in a pack of five and I buy them in a pack of five and um, and um, they're right I think they're eight ninety eight or something like that so we'll write it about nine bucks okay so this is my look number one Okay, so look number two. The next lash is a lash that I just recently um, picked up from Juno and Company. And um, I believe this is the style Chloe. And, but it says um, 3D-62. And it's a, it's a really, it's a nice lash. I don't think it's as glamorous as a arson lash that's really kind of dense and, and you know, really out there but it's it's like right behind it so this one obviously you can see is a little bit more dense this one is a little bit you know less dense um, so these two are what we're going to apply now so these are the ones that we're gonna apply sorry about that but I'm gonna do um, a little bit enhancing of the brows and then I'm gonna apply the lashes this one I'm going to take my tail and make it a little darker okay and then do the same And with this one, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of concealer to it. Pro Conceal and Correct, and it's medium deep MAC. 
just this palette here. And I'm gonna use the Morphe M432, just this little flat definer. So I'm just gonna go into the 42C. It's, um, that'll be okay. So I'm just gonna take and just kind of wipe some of that off. And then I'm just gonna go right here at the tail. And that's just gonna give us just a little bit of a brow bone highlight right in there. And then we're gonna do the same with the other. And we're gonna hope it comes out the same. <laughs> and it's just right there at the arch. You wanna just go right at the part where you arch and just drag the product through there and just drag it down. Okay, so our brows are done. I didn't do anything on the top um, just because it really isn't a very dramatic brow. It does have, you know, it has a little bit of something to it, but it's just enough to carry off I think <laughs> this next lash so let's get into that one and that was the Juno lash that I just showed you guys so on, and I go right to the center Okay, that's the one. Going right to the center and I just plop it on there. And then I fix it. You know, once you get them centered, then you can go from there. So, you know, you can start to fix and move where you want them to be. And then also, you know, how low you want them to go. Okay, and there are those, and that is our lash and brow number two. That's just a little bit more detail at the brow bone, and we have a little bit more of a lash that you can see. <laughs> so, there's that. Okay guys, last but not least, by no means, let me see. Mama is glowy. <laughs> Too glowy. Okay, last but not least is our um, very full, very dense lash. I love these lashes. They are like my favorites. And there there are some lashes. So they're very, as you can see, they're very dense, very full. Now these, I will say for my clients, um, if we're doing like a really glammed up look and, you know, I always purchase them and I always purchase some for myself. And so, um, 
some of you have asked about these lashes and I absolutely love them they are like my favorite so like that I love these yes I purchased these from Amazon um, there's so many different styles you can get them in this particular style they come like number letter code coded sort of styles um, I think these are um, let's see TD 03 N now this is more of a very bold brow and we are going to get started on this now it's not gonna be as thin as this it's gonna I'm gonna go a little bit um, thicker and width and it's gonna be a little bit darker so here we go So see, I'm really going in as um, I do. I like a faded brow. I like that look. take and go in with my Graptobian palette Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other one, and then we'll come back and apply the brow. Or right, apply the lash, apply the lash. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. So once I finish, you know, shaping the brow and everything, um, and I'm sorry, they're not as even as I'd like them to be, but we're gonna go with it. Um, I will go in and still just kind of um, fade at the very front just to kind of get it um, you know blend out as much of the product as I can up front and then I will take the product that I have on the back of my hand just take this um, the little flat definer and I will just go right in here and help it along with a little bit of product. And then take that spoolie brush again and then just drag it through. And then just kind of make sure I'm cleaned up in here and I don't have my unibrow. <laughs> okay, so those are my overdrawn 
um, brows and um, I don't normally go in more than that because uh, just for me I like for it to be as realistic as possible and to have anything thicker than this then it's just is just not and that's just me okay so that is the brow look and now we're gonna go ahead and um, plop these lashes on Okay, so we're gonna let those set. Now, with the brow like the with the lash like this, you want to make sure that that upper lid in there that you can't see any skin. You want to make sure that it is as dark in there, so it gives you that illusion of it being your lashes. I tight line. So I can get any space that um, maybe the lash isn't quite um, as flush with the lash line as possible. I try to get in there and get that. And then also, just when you stretch your eyes, sometimes you can see that lower lash line. And it, it tends to look a little odd. So. Okay, so I found my Urban Decay Perversion Pencil. So it goes on really nice and um, smooth. So we're gonna go in here. To, to water up. I know y'all can relate. <laughs> Brunch, this is what I bought, bought my foundation with oh yeah it was um one of the morphe brushes it's the m6 so i'm just gonna go and it's a nice buffer brush i'm just gonna go on the top and just get rid of that hey love. okay <laughs> that's better so this is our full lash with our really bold um, brows. So this is more of our really nice glammed out look. So yeah, I, I intentionally did not wear any kind of shadow because I just didn't want to go through all of that and just took a little bit of this um, the the L'Oreal True Match C8 and I just cheated and went into the crease and did somewhat of a little contour of the eye just to kind of give it that um you know almost like a little brown smoky look so and then I'll just kind of go underneath here out like that I got a little bit of lip glass. So there it is. We are at the end of this video. So we did our natural look. We did our, uh, you know, we want to be cute, but not overly glam. And then we glammed it out. 
So I hope this video was helpful. It was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I'm glad that my brows and my lashes cooperated with me today. So um, yeah, guys, if you have any questions or um, um, about anything that we that I talked about today, um, just leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to respond to you. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and um, checking me out. Cheers. Yeah, I had her on deck. She was here. You know what's up. You know. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you the next time. Bye.